Welcome to Adapt GA4 video series. We help you learn GA4 and start using it more. These are quick bite-sized videos in which we explore GA4. In this video, we will have a look at goals and conversions in Google Analytics 4, and we will also compare it with Universal Analytics. Let's get started. You probably all know, but it's worth mentioning that goals are the final actions that we want to happen on our website. For instance, for an e-commerce website, it could be a purchase event. For a B2B store, it could be book a demo, sign up for the software, download a downloadable material, and so on. There could be multiple goals. Uh, it doesn't have to be only one. Uh, but the point of this video is um, showing you goals or conversions within GA4. In Universal Analytics, the goal setup was uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, these are the goals that we set up earlier. Uh, and when you wanted to create a new goal, you could just click this button. And here the um, Universal Analytics would offer you some options, some types like destinations. You could type a URL and you could say that this is my goal. Thank you page URL uh, was the most common use case. You could set a duration or directly a page per session or a custom event. So this was how it worked in Universal Analytics. First of all, there isn't such thing called goals in um, Google Analytics 4. In GA4, it's called conversions instead of goals. So let's take it first. Uh, and secondly, the uh, structure is quite different. So you cannot set specific conditions for the conversions or goals to happen. Um, you could only set an event. You could say that, hey, this event is a conversion. So on this screen, when you come to conversions, you will see your events. Uh, and then you will have an option mark as conversion. This is how it works. You just choose an event and you mark it as a conversion. For e-com stores, purchase are automatically marked as conversion. So you don't need to do anything about it. That is specifically set as conversion. But if you want to take a specific goal, let's say newsletter subscription, you need to create a custom event or choose from the existing events and set it as a conversion. Let's make an example. I'll just make newsletter subscription i'll save it i will now mark it as a conversion but this is not enough of course now i should also send an event uh, to ga4 with this event name at the moment it's empty because i didn't have anything with this event name that's another topic events in google analytics 4 but in this video i quickly wanted to make an overview of how, how goals and conversions work in ga4 i hope it was helpful as a summary you just set a specific event and then set it as a conversion. So this is the method to do it. Uh, but I would like to show you another thing here. In the events section, we could here create an event or modify an event. So that would pretty much work like Universal Analytics interface. For instance, in this example, check out my custom event. I named it as Analyzify underscore install. I set event name equals to page view page location contains welcome and this will trigger this specific custom event as you can see it's now pretty much the same with universal analytics we could do the same here with the dest with a destination goal um, so i kind of mimicked it imitated that you could always create a custom event within ga4 without using google tag manager uh, and then use that as a conversion goal so let's make an example let's say create here Let's say custom event name, purchase diamond. Event name equals to purchase and item name contains diamond. When I now create it, it will create this new custom event and then I have the option to uh, adjust it here. So this is a way to tweak it, to make uh, some custom conversions. Uh, you can use event parameters. Once again, for this to work, your tracking setup should be working properly. So I should be receiving the purchase data and the item name data properly. For that, you can use our other videos in which we set up and integrate GA4 on your Shopify store or on your B2B website. So once you add this custom event, you could simply go back and come back to conversions and mark it as a conversion. So once you do that, you could simply come back to events section. You can find your own event, your recently created event here, and then use this setting to mark it as a conversion. 
Uh, one kind note that your event Im will not immediately be visible here. Uh, for your event to be visible here, uh, this event needs to receive some hits. So it should happen uh, first, and then you will be seeing it here. And then the second thing is that you might not always see it immediately. You might want to wait uh, one or two days so that this will work smoothly. I hope it was helpful. To keep learning GA4 and catching up with the latest updates, I would strongly recommend you to check out and sign up for our GA4 training resources. On our website, you will see a dedicated page for GA4 training. This will be free forever, so we will never ever charge for our GA4 trainings. Uh, we are just doing it for the community. You could see the details here and you could leave your email so that we can keep you up to date. We constantly release new resources, uh, You could, as you can see here. So if you are interested in, make sure to sign up. Apart from that, leave your questions and feedback in the YouTube comments. Uh, and you can also let us know your video suggestions. Uh, use hashtag suggestion and let us know which videos we should be doing, uh, what are you having hard time with in GA4. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe on YouTube so that you don't miss the updates. You can also follow us on LinkedIn. Uh, me personally, it's Arman Kuplu and my company, Analyzify. Uh, you could also find it on LinkedIn. From both accounts, we constantly share useful GA4 data analytics and organic growth tip specifically for Shopify merchants and industry professionals. I wish you a great day ahead and see you in another video.